Resources are becoming increasingly strained for families who were out of work because of the shutdown. Now a private food bank has been delivering pallets of food to families up and down New England. Eyewitness News reporter Alexandra Leslie has the details that are new at 530. The privately funded food bank knows the hardships of the people who normally utilize it, but for the last two weeks, it's been helping people who wouldn't normally ask for its help. The head of the U.S. Coast Guard announced earlier this week members would not get their regularly scheduled paychecks. It's left a strain on families, especially those who rely solely on that money. Last week, Rhode Islander and Coast Guard wife Jamie told us how it's affecting her family. We don't know when he'll be getting paid for his efforts. It's why organizations around the country have been finding ways to help. We share hope a Rhode Island private food bank has been helping families like Jamie's over the last two weeks. We have the ability to transport more food, so we just decided to start doing it directly from here. The food bank has been across New England delivering food pallets for members of the Coast Guard. In Rhode Island we have delivered um, we delivered earlier this week to them and today we're going to do another delivery. The group also made two trips each to Massachusetts and Connecticut. The food from We Share Hope helped Coast Guard members in New London set up this pop-up food bank and many of the volunteers are those who are in need themselves. They're the families, you'll see the wives there, the children, they're all helping to put this together. Those who normally don't need the help but are so thankful they have it. They said, you know, once this is over, let us know how we can give back. So it's, um, it's been a great response. If you'd like more information on how you can help those affected by the shutdown, we have a full list of resources on WPRI.com. I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.